multiple lives. It's like a podcast, but not really. It's like a let's play, but not really. It's really about chart. Welcome, Sean. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. hey. <laughs> Anytime you want to break the fourth wall, you can talk directly into that, but but by oh. all means, we'll be looking right beneath that yep. at our uh, various different games that we've got here. And we don't really start the interview stuff until we pick a shitty game. All right, sweet. Um, That's a good place to start. Yeah. So, so uh, let's see. These shooty games are cool. Oh, this looks like fun. Oh, hell yeah. Beirut. Beirut. <laughs> oh, no. That, that sounds like Beirut. Actually, like sounds... That could be problematic. Well, I think the way it was spelled, it was like they're... They're following a route down the bay. <laughs> or oh, something. that's nice and simple. I like that. But maybe it was meant to be like a double double meaning. Um, all right, let's see. We are coming in on a jet. It looks like very important people. Yes. Okay, let's so see. I think if you hit this key on your side. Um, oh yeah, there you are. Oh cool. Oh, hey. Oh, you're the you're the lady in pink, and then I am the guy in the blue. And it looks like the top left button. <laughs> <laughs> the top left button will change weapons. Uh huh. Okay. Although I don't know how to use my bouncy ball. Uh, yeah, I don't know about the bouncy no, ball. No, no, no. Are you gonna stab me? Oh god, I got stabbed too. <laughs> what the heck? All right, so welcome to the Bay Route. Thank you. So. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even. I swear to God, I can't even shoot. So the second button. It's mostly just oh, the top three buttons on all the games. Nice. All I'll right. let you pick up that purple canister because you're wearing purple. Nice. Thank you. All right. All right, everyone. So this is my buddy Sean. <laughs> and uh, you've got the... When you DJ, it's under the name Audio Fields. Yes. What's up with that name? Um, well, it started as uh, actually as a business name. It wasn't supposed to be DJ related at all. Oh. Um, because when I did a my master's degree in the cognitive neuroscience of music and um, wanted to get out of the academic route so I kind of went into more of a, um, a business direction where I wanted a, a name that sort of said that I was going like I was expanding into all these different domains of music so it could be like sonic branding it could be um, event planning you know it could be community engagement stuff so audio fields was the idea um, but interestingly, I started getting DJ gigs before I started a business, and sure. I needed a name for the DJ gigs. So Audio Fields was there, huh? and uh, and that, that's how it happened. Suddenly. So someday it could be a total double meaning as well. Yes, it could. I mean, the business could still jump off the ground someday. Just like this guy's jump. Look at that jump. Yeah. This is like for the sky. looking weird with that. Oh, <laughs> got, they got a lot of shadowing on those cheeks. Yes, they do. They, got, they really made a, a strong point to separate those things. Yeah, it makes it's very clear. I think actually our characters share the same lower half. <laughs> yes, that was that. <laughs> it's just a sprite color swap. Yep. Oh my god, it is. It is absolutely is. Yo, anything goes in the on the bay route. Yeah, the bay route, the route along the bay. Right. All right, you hold down the fort. I'm going to look at the computer behind us real quick. Okay. Don't let anyone kill me. Oh, God. I'll be so sad. Oh, no. It's so important. Okay, yeah, we're still we're still kicking ass. Oh, yeah. The computer is doing what it's supposed to. All right, so when we were first talking about your journey, Yes. it's kind of amazing that you, you were born in Denmark, but, yeah. but very quickly it started switching between both Denmark and California. Yes, I, more or less immediately. Um, my uh, parents kind of have a background in theater and stuff, so um, we they were basically living in California. They just happened to be in Denmark when I was born, so first five years were up in Northern California in Humboldt County, and then back to Denmark for a few years and back to California for a few years, and it was really more or less as balanced as you can make it. <laughs> was Humboldt County very humble? Hum Humboldt, actually. Hum much Humboldt. Like um, like uh, Von Humboldt, like some explorer, I guess. Um, hmm. I, I don't know a lot about that. Ooh! Oh, ouch. Oh, cool. The big explodey four-way ball thing's pretty cool. Because when it hits shit, it just like... It explodes. Looks oh. like this robot needs that it explodes. Oops. Oh, God. Damn, okay. Yeah, shit's getting real. Man be machine oh, over here. here in the Bay City. Oh, they got a top level, though. Uh, now there's nothing they can do about this. 
Oh, crap. This <laughs> kind of reminds me a little bit. You ever played Metal Slug? Yeah. Those, those yeah. games are much better. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Oh, shoot. Uh, I think we got all three, though. Yeah. Yeah. We, we just shoot the ball, like Metroid. Oh. Noise. Noise. <laughs> so then, where did... Uh, I mean, it's funny. So the majority of the stuff that you're really into is is drum and bass. But did that more so come from your experiences in America or Denmark or both? Um, well, so it all kind of came with from a, an infatuation with um, UK bass music in particular. Um, it's actually, st I started with being really interested in like reggae. And was that just because of the internet though? Or did you have like some like, like old head who was like, let me show you something and they, like, yeah. <laughs> open up this trench coat full of CDs. Yeah. I mean, you're not, you're not far off, man. Um, because I was just like, it was just a music that I appreciated. Mm. And then, um, one of my friends from Northern Denmark started a radio show called Wake and Bake Mondays, <laughs> and, uh, and they would just play really good reggae, and so I got more and more infatuated, ah. and by coincidence, one night, my friends and I were out looking for a party, and we picked up on some cool underground event, we're like, oh my gosh, we gotta go check this out, mm. and it was like a snowy, dark night in Copenhagen, and uh, it's like on the outskirts of the city, so you don't really know where you are anymore. You don't know where you're heading or what's going to be at the end, you know, of your destiny, of your journey here. And uh, I walk into this space, and it's like a giant factory building um, with a sound system the size of a wall just pumping out this incredible um, UK steppas sound, which is sort of like... Steppas. Yeah, it's like, it's like reggae. It's like techno reggae. It's like reggae with the four-on-the-floor beat but you have the upstroke, the skank, right, um, to make it more... Well, I'm dying all over the place. I was a um, real little skanker myself. Oh, yeah? Because my only exposure... I didn't learn about um, anything drum and bass until I was quite a bit older, but um, I did discover ska at a young age. Oh, nice. And so the whole, <laughs> That's the like, dancing movement there, yeah. Yeah, well, the thing is, though, like, especially, like, Boston and New England kind of started this... No, I wouldn't say started, but um, they kind of perverted ska into this, like, punk ska uh -huh. um which was a lot of fun to grow up on oh i bet um but as oh, yeah. a kid i had no idea about the, the roots i didn't know like that like um old old like actual two-step and ska and stuff right uh, so i was like oh yeah i'm skanking i'm skanking <laughs> <laughs> like my little like real big fish uh t-shirt oh, nice <laughs> oh i love it that's so cool yeah yeah, man. I mean, but it's like an intro, right? You yeah. kind of need to start somewhere. Yeah. Um, and and that's, yeah, exactly what happened. Like you're saying, the guy with the trench coat, you know, like <laughs> that night. That was that warehouse. Yeah, well, that night, me and my friends all volunteered to come back. We realized it was like a community-run, not-for-profit space. Oh, Actually, cool. non-funded even, so they didn't even take grant money. Nobody working there got paid. It was literally like host parties to pay rent. Wow. And then upstairs was like a mix of graphic design rooms and... Um, and music practice spaces and studios. So it's and a completely grassroots nonprofit space. Yes, absolutely. And so these guys, which so the space is called the Candy Factory, and um, the event was called the Dub Factory in particular. And uh, these guys just took me in, and uh, we got to have a great time, just um, like um, serving beer basically at these events. We were just in behind the scenes How and helping old were you, them out. Though? Um, at the time when we were doing that, I think I was like 21, oh, okay. 20, 21. Cool. And, um, and yeah, so I, I stayed away from the whole DJ world for a really long time. Um, mm. Intentionally, I was just like, that's their domain. And like, I'm just happy to support the culture. And then one of those guys started a record label and uh, came through and like gave everybody the first five releases off of the label. And I was oh, like, shit. oh, no, like now I have to keep <laughs> buying records. And then it all kind of took off from there. But that's yeah, like the rabbit hole. Yeah, and so, you know, eventually I ended up going to London to do the schooling thing, and then once I was there, you know, you just have direct access to all of this amazing UK bass music. So it went from reggae and steppas and to drum and bass really quickly, and uh, ah. and yeah, like, but like through Jungle though, you know, like because in London, um, like Metalheads was doing their history sessions back then, and Rupture was in full effect, and these are all like kind of drum funk forward. 
uh, drum and bass crowds. So really like heavy on the breaks and like cutting them up and stuff. Want to break some bones in this? Yes, let's break this some bones. Ri- this is <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> Body slam? Is I, that what it's yeah, called? it looked like a really cheap knockoff wrestling game of some sort. Hell yeah. I'm very curious. That's awesome. This whole setup is great. Oh yeah, it's just pretty, it's pretty easy. Yeah. Like, um, I didn't build any of this. I just bought this whole kit on eBay for like seventy bucks, and excellent. I've just been trying to break it ever since. So, um, oh, is it is it all the f- fresh gals wow. versus the evil alliance? Okay, intriguing. Um, oh, you you give up? You give some flowers to one of them. Let me see if um, uh, oh. Okay, I think you're in there. I think it will let you pick Team uh, Tank Tempora and Seas. Whoa, okay, these names are pretty bad. These, this is um, not endorsed not by us by any means. In no way, shape, or form. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, okay, well. well. Oh my oh. god. Oh no. Wanda Turbo. Dump. Not so much. <laughs> <laughs> That's just not right. Alright, so hopefully this is. um. Oh. oh, did I just immediately get... <laughs> oh, yeah. That was I it. I just immediately got... Yeah, you got uh, crushed by Dump Matsumoto. Holy shit. That was it. Was that, that was Game it. Game over. Wow. Okay, fuck this racist game. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, we, maybe we don't need that game. Maybe not. Maybe um, there's something better out there for us. Uh, well, Daffy Duck seems much more innocent, although I don't like puzzles while talking. Yeah. Like, I cannot do a puzzle while talking. No, I know the feeling. Yeah, some of these are a little too... Um, too heady. Bomberman's good, but it's still a little too much of a thinking game. Oh, Bubble Bobble. Bubble Bobble. Yeah, you can't go wrong with these. I, this is such a classic. I mean, okay. have, you ever, have you ever played this? Um, I think, I'm not sure I've played this exactly. This is actually a great game. Okay. Th- th- we're breaking tradition a little bit by playing something that's not garbage. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, it's pretty straightforward. It's a little platformer. You'll, you'll get the hang of it real quick. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> so you just kind of get everyone in a bubble, and then you bump into them, I think. Oh, oh cool. Oh! And then eat lots of fruit. Interesting. Yeah. How cute. Oh. So, how frequently were you bouncing back and forth between Denmark and, um, or I guess rather Copenhagen parties and, like, coming to California... Were you able to find the same kind of thing eventually, or...? No, I, I never... I, I had very... I kind of, like, my, my interest in that electronic music scene kind of happened after I stopped going back and forth so much. Okay. Um, I just, you know, eventually... It's, it's, like, it's a beautiful thing to grow up on two sides of the world like that and two different cultures, uh, mm. and I'm grateful for it, but... Um, there's a lot of loss that comes with it, and like an inability to like really grow strong roots. Sure. And uh, at some, as I grew older, it became more and more challenging uh, for me to navigate that. And so, at some point, I was just like, "All right, I'm done. I'm just gonna like stay in one place for a while." At that it, point, too, though, you were old enough to have your own agency. Yes. Like it was up to you. Yes. What you actually wanted to do by that point. Exactly, so. and that made a huge difference. Um, whoa. And. Um, and yeah, but so then, interestingly, you know, like the interaction I did have with the electronic scene was kind of through my friend's um, electronic music project called Night People, hmm. and uh, he was originally based, or they were, uh, usually, originally it was two of them, uh, based out of Humboldt County, and then moved to San Francisco, and and now he's in LA, and the whole project's developed into something else, but um, it was all kind of like related to that whole like plur energy you know um um peace love um, oh kind of like the candy raver thing yes thank you exactly and that felt really far removed from what i was experiencing in europe so i didn't really know how to relate to that oh i'm on a waterfall oh my goodness i don't know what i just did whoa now we're both going all right right. right, now you escaped i I, I don't know i don't know what happened there neither do i i ate too many bananas i suppose i think that's what happens the waterfall yeah man be careful of those banana slip streams oh there's these cute little like ghosty guys now yeah oh shit they throw fireballs definitely not cute anymore i got some new shoes though oh 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 oh, oh, oh. here we go 
<laughs> I, the, 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 all the advertisement algorithms are after me right now because I was looking up some shoes online. Oh, no. <laughs> There's this, these shoes called Fuego, uh -huh. and they're like dancing shoes. And I'm like, I've never bought dancing shoes before. Ooh, dancing shoes. So now, like, Facebook, Instagram, they're all like, you sure you don't want to buy those dancing shoes? Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. You ever bought dancing shoes? Never. It's not, <laughs> I kind of want to now, though. Right? I mean, it's like a intention, you know, the intention you set for your clothing. Yeah, I was like, oh, maybe I'll dance more. Yeah. I'll get some dancing shoes. And put them right on and just start kind of grooving a little bit. I'm into it. Well, they've got these, like, little balls underneath them to help you, like, pivot easier. Uh-huh. Which is kind of cool. Let me see here. Our buddy Slono is uh, saying. Uh, oh. uh, let's see. Almost there. Cool beans. Head. Late. The time station facing the oh, I'm gonna let me get in beer now. Boop. Really? Bubble. Oh shit, these guys are getting lit. Yeah. Party's real. So we're starting to run low on time, so I'm trying to think of um if there's any other whoa, cool. I just got stars on my head there. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'm trying to think if there's any other topics that we want to touch on too. Apart from just, uh, well, actually, no. We we got to do plugs before I forget because okay. I always forget about plugs. Okay. So first off, where what's the best place for people to um to 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 listen to your stuff, like to watch whenever you're doing your thing? Um. Well, thank you for asking. That's a good question. Um. Well, I've I've tried as much as possible to adapt to the modern era. So, um, you can always catch me bi-weekly and second and fourth Thursday of the month on Breaks FM on Twitch. So that's just uh, Twitch TV slash Breaks FM. Um, then I tend to appear also bi-weekly on BassDrive.com, which is, you know, 24-7 drum and bass radio station. And uh, if you just want to stalk me, I would suggest going <laughs> to... <laughs> Insta on Instagram, I'm at Audio Fields, and on Facebook, you can find me also at, you know, Facebook slash Audio Fields. So uh, I'm out there, and I'm easy to find, and uh, generally... I'm doing something related to drum and bass, um, but you know I'm also trying to find opportunities to whoa I just disappeared to um, explore music in other directions. So you know like I would love to try and and find a platform for playing some more of that um, sort of like conscious um, reggae and steppa's music, the more meditative mm. side of things that um, I feel like was what got me into it in the first place. Um, I'm trying to learn to play at a slower tempo, but <laughs> I think this actually just this past weekend was a great opportunity in that sense. Like, because um, playing with Brianna, you know, who's such a, a master at playing really kind of like full spectrum bass music, but particularly kind of like between 90 and 140 beats per minute um, yep. was All fun for me because I got to like try and figure that out. And uh, I had a really good time doing it. Um, so hopefully more of that kind of stuff, you know, exploring those different ranges a little bit. Um, I'm really trying to, I think if anything, the pandemic has helped me focus more on versatility. Mm. And that's something I'm trying to explore. So if people have cool ideas or they just want to talk or reach out or anything like that, I'm always up for that kind of stuff. Um, don't be a stranger. Yeah, I'm super looking forward to more of what I got to see from you uh, two nights ago. It was freaking awesome. That was honestly kind of, uh, that was incredible for me in a lot of ways because yeah. I don't usually get to see uh, a, a sort of like um, hodgepodge group of people really all enjoying jungle and drum mm. and bass like that in Providence, you know? Yeah, we're, uh, we're a little bit starved for that stuff, so it's been super refreshing. All right, so here's the thing about this game. Okay. This game never ends, it just keeps going, and I feel like we need to end this with a battle okay. of some sort. All right. So let's, let's see if we can find a junky fighting game. Yes. We're only gonna do, we have only have enough time for one down. Um, but what's fun about this is it's going to be a fighting game that neither of us have probably ever even heard of. Excellent. Yes, I'm <laughs> so here that, for it. Yeah. Oh, like, for example, what the hell is this? I don't even know. It, that I think was... it said CT 2000 something. Yeah, it sounded like the, yeah, like the name of a... Ah, that's so cool. Some random tech element. Yeah. Uh, Crouching Tiger. Oh, Crouching Tiger, <gasps> Hidden Dragon? What? 2000, like the movie, maybe. What? Okay. Oh, 2003. All right. I guess this is based off of... The the movie. I have seen the movie, so I probably have an advantage in that way. Okay. I don't know if you've seen it. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. All right. We're on equal oh, ground now. I love that movie. I would actually not mind watching it again. 
So are they like wow, characters? Wow, a lot of characters. Yeah, I don't feel like Whoa. they're necessarily based around the movie, though. And we only have nine seconds, too, to pick oh, a character. Oh, goodness gracious. These look like kind of some uh, Street Fighter ripoffs. Ralph. Ralph is my guy. Oh, Joe. I gotta be Joe. If, if, if my name's Joe Law, I've gotta be Joe. I can't not. Yeah. Only one second, one second left. Well, I, I got chosen, but him. Yeah. Oh. I don't know. Did oh, something. we were choosing a whole team, maybe. Really? Oh. Oh, wow. All right, well. All right. Oh, now you pick your order of your... So pick... How can you pick four characters in ten seconds? <laughs> that is ridiculous. Be, I guess you gotta watch the movie more than once. This is actually pretty cool now, because we're each trying to get four, four lives, basically, before it's over. It makes sense. All right, we're going... Oh, let's just go to Japan. I'm so intrigued. Oh, shoot. Whoa. Whoa! Okay, here we go. Oh, my guy's from King of Fighters, I think. All right, that's just like a ripoff. Let's see. Ooh, the bottom buttons do shit too. Yeah. Or at least I'm just, oh, like, whoa, just the bottom that, left. Look at that menacing walk. <laughs> so the top three buttons and the bottom left button do stuff. Oh, cool. Brah. Oh shoot. Oh my goodness. Dude, I got I got the reach. Come on, Ralph. <laughs> oh my nuts! <laughs> ah, <the> nuts! <laughs> no! Joe! Joe! Joe's balls! Joe's balls. All right, well I've got R more. R.I.P. Joe's from. balls. Right. All right. Oh, she seems cool. Uh -oh. She's got a pantsuit. Oh yes. You don't, Fuck with someone nah, in a pantsuit. They, they, they don't mean business, you know what I mean? Here come the pantsuit energy. Oh, Look at that. damn. Don't take much <laughs> of that pantsuit. <laughs> Do not mess around. Oh, she threw a rose, too. That's uh -huh. that's so anime. I love it. Oh, whoa, you got a whip? Whoa. That seems unfair. That I've got a rose, and you've got a whip. Oh, you use it, too. Look at that reach. Yeah. She is amazing. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world? Oh, shit. Whoa. Run. The heck? Whoa! Yo, yo, <laughs> I'm getting tag teamed over here. This so is. So I think nuts. you hit the the two right buttons at the same time, and then like some quarter circles to make um some some teammate stuff happen. Oh, cool. Whoa. There's definitely something with a combo of buttons, but I don't know what. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, that's so fucking cool. That is badass. She makes a cool pose after it too. Oh snap! <laughs> that is a golden whip. Yes, indeed. Ah! My pantsuit! <laughs> Not my pantsuit! Okay. Oh, that was it! Oh, I thought you had to go through all four. Alright. Okay. Well, that, that's it. That's Congratulations, it. you whipped me, literally. That's virtually, anyway. We already did our plugs, so all we've got to do now is wave to the camera. It was a pleasure. Yeah, Thanks yeah. Thanks for having me, Joe. We'll probably do, uh, uh, this is pretty short, so we might do another episode again someday. Great, I would love to. Uh-oh. Oh, no, did my camera...